City of grieving, of wailing, gnashing of teeth, and of screaming. Through me you enter eternal pain without equal. Through me you go to remain among the lost people. My creator was motivated by justice, and he made me from sublime substance as an everlasting instrument of the highest wisdom, combined with primal love in the divine vision. Nothing was made in all creation accepting the eternal before my making and I shall endure forever abandon all hope ye who enter this was the grave statement engraved in dark script written straight above the gate to a vast script I paused, turned forth to Virgil and asked him Sir, the meaning of these words is hard to pin And he answered it with such deliberate intent As if to demonstrate that he knew what I meant Said, here you must surrender all doubts in your head All trace of cowardice must now be dead We have arrived at the place where I said That you'll witness dwelling in suffering Suffering without end The souls of those who know they are forever lost To the benevolent intellect of God And then his right hand extended to mine And with an encouraging smile he held my eye Which comforted me more than I can tell before he finally led me right into that occult realm Immediately on entering the sound of pain yelling Sobs and desperate cries overwhelmed me Assailing my ears, echoing through the starless air And provoking me uncontrollably to shed tears Such an incompatible mix of strange languages Horrible dialects, savage words of agony Voices shred and hoarse, forced to the loudest shrieking All punctuated by the coarse sound of beatings Made a confusing, brutal, deafening cacophony That turns tumultuously, swirling constantly In that dark atmosphere beyond the reaches of time Like a sandstorm that rises when a whirlwind strikes And I, my head full of horror and fear Said, Master, what is this that I hear? And who are these people here? Who are so grievously overcome with grief and tears? And he then replied to me This choir of grief that rings out here about so violently is formed from the lukewarm souls who delayed their decision and remained living with neither infamy or praise and mixed in among them are angels as well from that cowardly group who didn't deign to rebel were faithful neither to God nor to who reigns in hell but instead chose to live for themselves heaven and hell both reject them the same heaven because their presence would tarnish its name and deep hell because the wicked would give some fame from these angels if they entered in So I said to him, Master, whatever is so terrible that they scream and wail so relentlessly and lament so strongly and grievously and he to me, very, very well, I will tell you briefly this whole group of souls is so totally bereft possessing no hope of approaching closer to death their blind life is so base in this pit that they envy every single other fate that exists the world in which you live doesn't deign to permit any fame of their name to remain on its lips mercy and justice disdain them as quick let's talk of them no more but look and then split. When I looked back at the pit, I saw a black flag and rags on a stick, but no one carrying it. And yet, it was traveling quick, flapping in the wind, and refusing to stand still for a bit. And after it, there came a gigantic horde, a rabble chasing after that flag as it soared. And that train of people was so long and plenty, I couldn't believe death had undone so many. 
they came near I was tempted to tremble I looked at them and recognized several And then I saw one particular shade And knew that it was the one who through cowardice Made the great refusal Immediately I understood and was certain That this rabble circling was made up of those persons Who were cowards and equally deserving Of the disdain of God and of his enemies' curses These pathetic creatures who never really lived Were now all naked and dreadfully tormented By large flies and wasps that often vexed and bit them Attracted by their rotting flesh And down their faces dripping bright With blood streaming right from their horrific bites Mixing with their tears and putridly slathered Around their feet where it gathered to be consumed by maggots And when I took a look beyond those nameless spirits I saw an incomparable mass of shades of figures Standing massed back on the banks of a great river So I grasped the chance to ask Master, will you reveal to me the details So I may know the station, nation and identification of those who Seem so urgently disposed to cross over Which I can discern even though the light is low And he then explained to me a little impatient These things will be fully explained when we have travelled on And our feet have reached the bank of the dark river Acheron And we walked on a bit But I kept my eyes set down on the ground And the path ahead And in fear that by speaking I'd earn his displeasure I kept my mouth shut until we reached the river Where we witnessed the scrawniest, tallest, longest bearded oarsman Rowing towards us in a boat His hair and beard all grey with old Yelling, woe to you depraved souls Resign yourself now for the rest of time To never henceforth aspire in the sky For I will lead you to the other shore And leave you in eternal darkness In fire and in freezing And you standing there breathing air You living soul Separate yourself and stand clear Of the rest of these wretches who are all dead But when he comprehended that I had not left He said There is another road, another port By which you'll cross over to the other shore You will not cross here today Do not wait There is a light a boat that you will take And my guide defiantly replied to his request Carden, do not torture yourself with such stress This quest has been willed and blessed Where what is willed can manifest So cease your protest There then arrived a moment of silence As the bearded jaw of the pilot fell quiet On the banks of that river mire But his eyes were still encircled by rings of fire And after that moment of peace He began to speak And the bedraggled naked souls within reach Became enraged, writhing, grinding Finding their teeth as soon as they heard the crude lines of his speech They blasphemed, cursing God and his deeds They cursed their parents and all their beliefs They cursed the human race, the place on earth, the day And even the semen which created their birth Then all of the entire horde moved forward Involuntarily weeping, their bodies being drawn towards the river That malevolent shore which calls all who do not tremble before God's law That is where this demon card and forever stands tall With haggard eyes glowing like embers of coal and Making signs with his hands, gathers them all And any that resist, he smacks back with his oar And just like in autumn when the leaves all come Detached from the tree one by one and begin falling Until the branch itself looks back down And sees all of its clothing collapse on the ground In this way indeed, this strange motley gathering This fistful of the evil seed of Adam Throw themselves to the edge and over Like a falcon returning on the signal of its owner In this manner, they move off and travel Road across the dark River waves by Cardin And before they have finished crossing the channel On this bank a whole other flock has already gathered My son Explained my courteous master Those who die in the eye of God's eternal wrath All come and gather here on these shores and just stand Together from every single earthly culture and land And they demand Completely ready and willing To be taken quickly across this malevolent river For the justice divine so inclines and inspires That it converts and turns their burning fear to desire In all history no good soul has been claimed by Cardin and been made to cross this way So if he complains of you in this scene You can clearly understand what he means when he finished speaking, the dark landscape and the ground surrounding me began to shake so violently, trembling, upset so terribly, that I am bathed in grave and sweat at the memory. The earth itself split with a terrifyingly large sound, and an awesome fork of lightning suddenly blasted out, crimson in color, so bright and charged now it overcame all of my senses, and I passed out.